let's say you have an equation 5x plus 3x well here we're adding and what we're adding is these two terms I think of 5x well this means 5 times x but you can also think of 5 times x as x plus x plus x plus x plus x in other words 1 2 3 4 or excuse me 5 x's and likewise you can think of 3x as another 1 2 3 x's and we're adding both of them so really we have 3 and 5 x's so now we have 8 x's and really what we're doing there is a shortcut you can think of adding the coefficients which are these numbers right here the coefficients are the number you're multiplying your variables by so for example let's say we had 2x plus 11x well the coefficients are 11 and 2 we have 2x's here and 11x's there so now we have a total of 13x's and if you have po um, positive or negative coefficients you can treat them just like you would any positive or negative number so if we had 2x plus negative 3x one way to think about this is having negative 3x's here and then two positive x's here well when you add 2 and negative 3 well the, the positive and negative x's cancel out they're opposites and what's left over is the answer which is minus x minus x is just short for minus 1x and that makes sense I've been saying that you add the coefficients well 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1 so 2x plus 3x is negative 1x or negative x subtraction works the same way if we had 5x minus 3x the answer would be 2x's if you take 3x's from 5x's there are 2x's left over and if it's something like x minus negative x this might seem confusing but let's break it down x here is just 1x and then what you're doing is you're taking away a negative x or negative 1x when you're subtracting a negative 1 you're really adding if you think about it on the number line if I had the number 1 right here if I took 1 away I'd go to the left to 0 but I'm taking negative 1 away not positive 1 so I go in the opposite direction so 1 minus negative x is really 1x plus x or 2x now so when you're dividing you're actually following similar principles uh, however one thing you should think about is that not only do you divide the coefficients 10 divided by 5 is 2 but any number divided by itself is just 1 so the answer here is 2 why well let's have x divided by x if x was anything if it was a hundred then we would be dividing it by x again or itself so an x divided by an x is always a one so anything we attach to that let's say it's 111 x well that's a, that's a bad idea let's try 100 x divided by 2x x divided by x is one so we cross it out we cross it out because one doesn't really affect your answer uh, when you're multiplying or dividing. So really this is like saying 100 divided by 2 which is 50. Now multiplying you can treat it as 10x times 5x. Well let's just talk about x times x. If you have x times x that is a short way of writing x to the second power. So when you're multiplying these two expressions you multiply 10 times 5 you get 50 and x by x to get x squared <clears throat> but this is not a linear equation and this video deals with linear equations how do I know it's not linear because the exponent is bigger than 1 other things you might have to deal with are expanding and factoring some kind of linear equation so let's say we had 10 and then a parentheses x plus 2 what does this mean this means 10 times x plus 2 we need to use the distributive property to solve it or simplify it so 10 times x is just 10x this is the same exact it, this means 10 times x and then well we're distributing multiplication over addition so 
plus 10 times 2, which is 20. So this would be expanding by using the distributive property. And to factor, let's say we had 2x plus um, 10. Look at your two terms and think of a common factor. Well, 2 goes into 2x and 2 goes into 10, so our, least, our greatest common factor here is 2. And then in parentheses, I'm going to write down um, the, what's left over if I was to redistribute the 2. So I'm going to write x plus 5 because I know that 2 times x is 2x and then 2 times 5 is 10. So to get these numbers in their parentheses, what I could do is just divide each part of the expression by the greatest common factor. So 10 divided by 2, which is 5, and 2x divided by 2, which is x. Again, 2x divided by 2 is just x because 2 divided by 2 is 1, and the x is left over.